So I would have loved for Harry to have brought Niall out, but I kind of like deep down knew that he wasn't going to. Hi everyone and welcome back to Indie Rain Rocks. So today's video is going to kind of be a little bit of a continuation from last week's video which was when we discussed Harry Styles' first ever Coachella performance and in that video I said that I would basically come back and do a Weekend 2 version to see if anything had kind of changed as in setlist wise or person who he brought out on stage with him wise and that is exactly what we're going to do today so if you're interested in seeing that keep watching and if you haven't seen my weekend one video yet the link is up there go watch it now i feel like this video is probably going to be a lot shorter than weekend one because weekend one i kind of talked about everything that happened and then weekend two it all pretty much stayed the same except for the person he brought out on stage with him but we'll talk about her in a minute the pleasing pop-up that stayed the same now actually because they had some leftover stock you can actually go onto the pleasing website and you can purchase that right now so if you haven't already and you want some pleasing coachella merch head to their website i'm literally having to refrain myself from buying that yellow hoodie because i'm literally obsessed with it but i'm not going to i'm being good okay i'm being good i'm being responsible so the first thing i want to talk about is harry's outfit now weekend one outfit was literally so insane and i could not wait to see what he was going to do for weekend two outfit and i feel like he almost outshined it i say almost i feel like they're on a par with each other because they were quite different but they were both very harry and now if you haven't seen what weekend two outfit looks like here it is i mean he looks insane and i love like the little details that obviously it's full pink which i think suits him so well i think we need more pink re outfits please harry lambert if you're listening get him in pink more often please thank you anyway um i love the details of the fact that there's like a strawberry on either side of the waistcoat and cherry on the back and also we can't ignore the h and the s on the back of the trousers i love that i was like when i first saw that when i woke up on saturday morning i first saw that and i was like oh my goodness the entire outfit just like it just screamed harry like l quite literally screamed harry with all the fruit with his initials i just thought they outdid themselves here and honestly these outfits for this new era are killing it so far okay they are literally insane and we've only really had two fits for this new era so i just can't wait to see what outfits he wears on tour and for his other live performances that he does before tour i'm literally i'm just so excited to see what he's got in store for us what i loved as well was that harry he watched billy's set and it was so cute because he was like he was literally in the crowd just like loving life and like bounds jumping up and down and stuff and I was like that is literally so cute. Whoa! Speaking of performances, he brought out Lizzo. Now, I basically, I didn't see this on my own For You page but my friends were telling me, it was all over my timeline, that everybody thought he was going to bring out Niall. Now, I knew he wasn't going to because Niall had basically been spotted in the UK long before, like, the f even first weekend of Coachella. So I knew that Niall wasn't going to be there, but it was fun to kind of see everyone's theories and listen to why everyone thought Niall could go out. And it would have been nice to have a Nari reunion, like I'm not going to say I would not have loved that, but it would have been like a Nari reunion, I'd have got to see Niall perform, because like when was the last time he performed? Like literally months ago. So I would have loved for Harry to have brought Niall out, but I kind of like deep down knew that he wasn't going to, but like, you know, I did, I did secretly want him to, but I knew he wasn't. But I do feel like that would have been like insane if he did. Let's talk about the legend that is Lizzo, who Harry brought out with him and they sang I Will Survive and she sang What Makes You Beautiful with him. Now I was kind of upset that they didn't sing Juice together because Harry's cover of Juice is insane. Obviously Lizzo's own version of Juice is insane. But I feel like, you know, put them together 
it would have just been like an insane performance. And I know they performed Juice together before, they did it in like 2020 just before the whole world shutdown thing happened. Um, and I kind of wish we got a 2022 version of it and I'm kind of sad that we didn't but hopefully we do get it one day. It was still great to see that he brought her out. I kind of low-key thought he was going to bring Stevie Nicks out. That was my guess. But I'm still really glad he brought out Lizzo. I mean, she's literally just like a ball of joy and energy and she really like brought it to her performance with Harry. The thing that I want to know is why they chose to sing I Will Survive rather than like one of Lizzo's songs. Obviously when he brought out Shania, he sang two of her songs and it kind of like seeing that he brought out Lizzo and essentially only added one more song to the set list because she then sang What Makes You Beautiful with him. It did make me wonder like why they didn't sing more of her songs or at least add Juice in there as well as doing I Will Survive. But I just want to know why. I want, I need to know his like, well I don't need to know, but I want to know his reasoning behind why they chose I Will Survive and not Juice and I mean, I can kind of see why she joined in with what, ma with what Makes You Beautiful because, you know, it's an iconic song. Like, why wouldn't you want to be asked to sing on that song? I would. And I can't even sing. But I do wish we had the Juice cover as well. But obviously, we didn't for whatever reason. Maybe they sound checked it and it just didn't sound right. So they said, right, we'll just... We'll push that one aside and you can join in with a different song. Maybe that's what happened. Obviously, I don't know. I wasn't there. I mean, the last time we heard Harry perform I Will Survive, I'm pretty sure it was either the Where We Are tour or on the or the On The Road Again tour with One Direction. <laughs> Like, you know how sometimes like during the show they just randomly start singing covers? I'm pretty sure that was one of the last times we heard Harry sing I Will Survive. Or it's one of the last times I did. Maybe there's another video out there that I've not seen yet. But it's so weird hearing like the 2014-2015 version compared to the 2022 version. And I'm like, he has grown so much. Can we just talk about as well the fact that Lizzo and Harry quite literally like matched fits? I thought that was so cute. I mean this whole weekend was just like, it was essentially a mirror image but it also wasn't because it was just so different in every way at the same time. Also, can we talk about the fact that Harry lost his lion ring? If anyone hasn't seen the video, I'm going to insert it now. So basically, you might have seen, obviously, Harry threw something, like, down, I think it was a water bottle, he threw it down onto the stage with that much force that his ring flew off his finger, bounced off the stage and flew into the crowd. Somebody found it and was, like, going on Twitter saying, how can I get this back to Harry? And I think now it's been resolved and someone has messaged to kind of claim it from Harry, Harry's team and is just like, oh, he'll be so happy to have this back. And I'm just like... How did that even happen? How did his ring literally fly off his finger and bounce? And it's so cute as well because on the back of the ring it's like engraved, on like the actual band of the ring it's engraved saying Harry and then on the inside like because it's a lion head so on the inside of the lion head it says second time's a charm so I'm like what does that mean? It's quite an interesting thing to like write because obviously second time's a charm that like quite literally could mean anything. Anything at all and I'm like I wonder if that's like an inside joke between his friends or just something someone said to him like throughout his career. And just before I end this video I would just like to leave you with this picture that I found. It is quite literally my new favourite picture of Harry like it's just so... It's just so well shot. Whoever took that picture literally you're doing God's work. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. We really, really appreciate you. But anyway, I think that is pretty much the end of this sort of Harry Cella Weekend 2 roundup. I'm kind of sad that it's over now because the next time we see Harry is going to be at Radio 1's Big Weekend. I think that's the next booked thing that he has as far as I'm aware but obviously things could come up in his schedule. So the next big thing we're seeing Harry at realistically is Radio 1's big weekend on the 29th of May which I know so many people are going to and even I tried for tickets and I couldn't get on 
but we move. That's not the first time I've tried to get on to do something Harry Styles related and just not being allowed in, okay? It's happened to me before, I'm kind of immune to the feeling. However, however, the universe worked in my favour the other day because not only is he doing big weekend in Coventry, he is also headlining Summertime Ball on June 12th and I will be in attendance. I went on the other day, I refreshed the Global Player app and up came a Golden Circle ticket. I pressed it, it let me go through to buy it. So I bought it, okay, I clowned and I bought it. I even said to my friend Robin the night before, I'm not going to buy tickets for this until closer to the time. What did I do? I went on the day of the pre-sale and I bought a ticket because I can't help myself, okay? I can't help myself. But I'm officially seeing Harry this year, guys, and I'm literally so excited. I honestly cannot wait to see him. But yes, that is basically it. If there's anything that I've forgotten about Harry Cello Weekend 2, drop a comment below. And that's pretty much the end of this video. I would just like to end it like I always do by telling you all to follow your passion, make it happen, and I'll see you all on Sunday. Bye!